How are you doing tonight? I'm fine. I'm excited to be talking to you. Well, good. Thank you. Where, where are you calling from? San Francisco. Ah, oh, San Francisco. <laughs> I can tell I'm ready for a vacation. Everybody mentions these other places, and I just, oh, how wonderful. But San Francisco is also by an ocean. Yep, I love it. Yeah, I, I used to live there. I, I loved it as well. Oh. Special energy in that town. I think so. Of course, I live in the middle of New York City. There's a lot of special energy here, too. I love New York, too. Yeah, it's a different kind of exciting. You know, it's and it's fun to have experienced different places, you know. I mean, it keeps life interesting. Yes. Um, I'm going to New York this weekend, actually. Well, great. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's right, very pleasant these days. I, th- I hope oh, you have great. a good time here. Um, what uh, what can I how what's going on in your life? What have you well, called about? Well, it's very funny because the last few callers, I don't know if they also had a Pisces North Node, but I got a lot of of advice from what you said to them. Good. And I know I know that I should be letting go and letting God. But my question for you is, how do how do I do that? Is in terms of. Um, my career d- does letting go and and letting the universe take over mean i i should just sit and wait for something to happen or should i sh- still apply for jobs what exactly should i do okay in your particular case eleanor the way to balance that is to add the dimension of logic you know trust is an interesting factor um there's the kind of you know trust is an interesting two-edged sword if you trust too much, what happens is you're just sitting there and becoming like patient with a, si- a situation when it's not working, or or you go into gambling. Trust when it's overdone becomes a negative. But trust in the right way, uh, which in your case is to do surrender to a higher power, but th- you reach the right state of surrender when you're involved in looking at a situation logically. You see, logic is your key to seeing what to trust. Trust, okay. actually, blind trust puts you in a situation of anxiety. It does, because I don't have any control over anything. Yeah. And exactly, exactly. So I would suggest that what you do is you, is you use your ability for writing, okay? Pick up the pen and pencil and write down the pros and cons of different choices. Start keeping, and, and, and when you look at that, it'll, it'll clarify your thinking, and then you'll just know, you, you'll be in touch with, with your higher power, with, with what to surrender to. I like that, and it just trust my gut, see what, listen to my soul sort after, of thing? After you do the logic, okay? Okay. Look at it logically. Make a list, both sides, A and B, like on a piece of paper, like you put a line down the center of a piece of paper and write pros and cons on your side? I do side. that. I, I do that sometimes. Great. How does that work for you? I like it because I, I didn't realize why I liked it, but that makes sense that it provides some structure and right. control. Right. Exactly. And it, it gives you a sense of trust that the situation is going to work out by following the logic that you've seen. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, that sounds terrific. So that's a tool. Okay, that will work in every area including this one. That's great. I'm going to try that. Okay. Well, good luck to you, Eleanor. Thank you for calling in tonight. Thank you very much. All righty. Bye. Bye-bye. This is Jan Spiller. You're listening to the Jan Spiller Show uh, every Tuesday night between 9 and 11 p.m. Eastern Time. And the number to call to participate here is 877-242-8212. If you don't get through on that line, you're welcome to call 212-787-STAR. And then you can uh, leave your number and we'll get back in touch with you for a future show. The way that we're doing it at this point is some people who are calling in, we do, you know, directly during the show. And some of the people that called in for the last two weeks uh, were calling back that have, uh, you know, booked a time for a future show. Okay, so now we're talking to, is it Carla? Are you on the line now? Yes, I'm on the line. Hi. Well, good. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I wanted to say um, that I've read all your books, some of them, many times, and I just wanted to thank you for sharing all of your knowledge with us. Thank you, Carla. I, I appreciate that. That's what, knowing that, that what I'm doing and, and these formulas are helping people keeps me going, keeps me doing it. You yeah. Because, you know, yeah. if we look at life and see what people are appreciating about us, 
And then by making decisions in alignment with that, all of a sudden everything works, love, money, everything. And, and we're happy, you know. Right. <laughs> so it, I, I think there is a general principle that when you're doing something that is socially useful and that is, uh, you know, it then automatically the resources to cover that uh, are forthcoming. So it's kind of a neat principle. So what can I help you with tonight? Well, I, I know I'm in a number nine year, and I'm, uh, you know, finishing up some of, the big, some of the big projects of my life so far. And, Good for uh, you. And I, um, yeah, and I don't know about dating. Should I be dating now? Should I be putting that on the back burner and finishing off my projects? I just, I don't know what to do, and I feel like I keep getting distracted by dating thoughts. <laughs> Well, I can well understand that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll tell you, but y you may be distracted by dating thoughts, and and but right now there's part of you that's not having any fun, and that's not mm. really attracted to the superficiality of romance. Now I'm a Leo. For me to call romance to put that in the same sentence with superficial is like highly unlikely. But that's does that make sense to you? What you're you're feeling that? Yeah. Yeah. And normally, I wouldn't say you do feel that. Um, right. You love love. I mean, it's part of your nature. You're very, very loving, very social. But mm -hmm. right now, what's you know, uh, you're just in a cycle where you're not really attracted to it. So I would trust your current cycle and use that creative energy to harness it to create these projects. See. The energy of romance, the energy of love, and the way you're talking about it, relationships, is mm -hmm. is uh, is a, a huge creative force. So you right. can use it either to experience the joys of romance or to create use it creatively to create something. Now Saturn is right in your fifth house, and it is true that this lifetime you do need to get involved with things. But what I you know, in other words, you know, it's the, there, there's a the issue here is one of isolation. A lot of past lives when you found yourself in very isolated situations, so you came in this time and probably in your childhood and early environment felt quite isolated. Do you know what I'm talking about here? Yes, definitely. Yeah. So with isolation, it is a people lifetime that's altogether healthy for your balancing to get involved in relationships. Um, but the issue here is is, and the way that you get involved in relationships is by following your heart. All of that works. So is there a relationship around you right now that, that, your heart, that is making your heart sing? Because it could be that you're learning lessons about romance. Um, yeah, I feel like I have learned this lesson about romance, which is unfortunate why I seem to be distracted by it again. Oh, okay, so somebody new has come in, is that what you're telling me? Yeah, somebody's come in, but they're not, you know, but they're not available, but there's a connection, but, you know, you're just, it's just playing that game. Okay, of, uh, yeah, I understand, well, I well understand that game. <laughs> what about, um, what about the projects? What projects are you doing right now? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm working, have you ever heard of the Breast Cancer 1 mutation? No, but, you know, I think oh, this is it's, great. It's a mutation that increases your risk of uh, breast and ovarian cancer by, like, 80%, 50%. Uh -huh. So I'm writing a book about that. Beautiful. Beautiful. And does that make you happy right now to do that? Um, it's yes and no. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's not an easy thing to write about, so that part's hard. But uh -huh. overall, it feels good to be doing it. Okay. That feels really good. Okay. And there's a lot of creativity in writing a book. So I yeah. would say, you know, definitely put your energy into that. Mm -hmm. And 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 really, relationships are a major thing for you. Perhaps you can call back another point. We can go further into it. What, what, mm -hmm. what needs to happen here is, is getting more in touch with following your heart. I remember a program recently on one of those TV things where that guy kept saying, the bachelor, I think it was, kept saying something about following his heart. You're one of those people that when you do that, it works. Okay? Okay. All righty. Good luck to you, Carla. All we, right. We have, a, we have the news break here, so we have to sign off. And we'll be back, though, 
in about six minutes. So please stay tuned, and the number to call to participate is 877-242-8212. We'll be right back with the Jan Spiller Show.